Okay, so a reputable leaker has leaked information on Hogwarts Legacy, and we are days away from the Game Awards. There's a lot to talk about this video. Before we do that, please subscribe if you end up enjoying the video. That helped me out a lot. But anyway, on to the video. So yesterday, a uh, leaker known as Millie A po made a post talking about Hogwarts Legacy. And here's the post. It reads, Hogwarts update asset is ready. Awaiting sign off from Warner. They have final decisions as appro slash approval for public release. WB concerned of more JK media backlash. They understand it will happen regardless of when asset is shown, but hesitant and concerned is current mood. Now, obviously, there's a lot in this post, but the second thing she says is asset is ready. And I'm assuming that means some sort of trailer or something that they've been working on. And now it's done and it's ready for release. Now, my personal guess is that it'd be for the game. It's some sort of trailer for the Game Awards in nine days. That may not be it, but I'll talk about more that more uh, late in the video. Now, after that, they say awaiting sign off from Warner. And they have final decision slash approval for public release. Now, I'm assuming that they are talking about that asset that's ready. Warner is uh, about to sign off and everyone's waiting for them to sign off on it. And the final decision slash approval um, is probably just higher up. Um, there's been approval for it to release. So I guess this means they haven't signed off on it, but they are allowed to. I, I'm not sure exactly what that means, but it, it, basically it's just waiting to be approved. Um, and then it goes on to say that WB is concerned of more JK media backlash. And they understand it will happen regardless of when asset is shown, but hesitant and concerned is current mood. I honestly think that WB is sort of overestimating how, you know, much everyone is going to connect JK Rowling to this game. The, like, the amount of people that are not going to like this game just because of JK Rowling is a very, very, very small percent. Like, we're talking, like, double digits probably. Like, it's probably not more than a hundred people like honestly like there's not that many people they're gonna hate this game for just because jk rowling like created the whole like universe in the first place and like i like i still love the books like i don't, I don't really care who did it like just because someone makes a story doesn't mean i'm not gonna read it just because i don't like them you know um so yeah i i don't think that anyone's gonna be like hate on this game like somebody will but like i don't think a lot of people are gonna hate on this game so wb if you're is like a one percent chance you're watching this or something just release whatever this asset is like we don't care we do not care at all we literally just want to play the game and just want to see more of hogwarts legacy that's it so literally just release whatever it is please and hopefully it'll be at the game awards which is in nine days that'd be amazing and since this is just coming out you know, and they're approving assets, you know, it, it would make sense if it was for the Game Awards, since it's, like, so close to happening in, like, literally nine days. Um, I don't see, because if, if they're signing off for it now, they're about to release it, you know, so it's, it's not like they're signing off for something now that they're going to release in, like, six months. So it'll either be, like, this month or at the Game Awards, which is, like, you know, the same thing. Like, maybe you'll release it at Christmas or something, but Game Awards is, like, the biggest landmark like best place to release it like if they got something done if they got something to show the game awards is the best place to show it and they're sending off for it right now so it, it just makes sense so i honestly because of this i think that the odds that we see hogwarts legacy at the game awards is higher than the chances that we had of seeing it at the other events that it hasn't been at so there's like a super high chance that we're going to see it at the game awards but the most important part of this paragraph in my opinion is that it says WB is hesitant and concerned um, about the whole JK Rowling situation, and I think that this may be one of the big reasons why they haven't released any information for a while, both at Gamescom and um, at the Sony State of Play. Um, it, it may have just been because they were scared of media backlash and didn't want, you know, bad press on this game, especially right after they had delayed it. So, you know, just like the mix of the, like delay and JK Rowling sort of, that just, just, just doesn't make for good press. So they may have been holding off. Um, but if, if they decide to get over it and decide to realize that people aren't really, you know, people don't hate the game because of that. Or at least I don't. I don't. I think I know a lot of other people don't um, really care about, you know, her connected to the game. 
um I, I think they just need to release it you know i think they're gonna be releasing a lot of more stuff once they realize that um but yeah that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it um and if you did please subscribe that helped me out a lot uh but i'll see you guys in the next one